What if there's another Earth somewhere far off in the universe, perhaps one even outside our galaxy, hidden but waiting to be discovered? A planet so much like Earth that alien life has been thriving perhaps long before there was life on this Earth. It may surprise you that this is not just a theory, but we've actually discovered a planet so much like our Earth that some have nicknamed it Earth's sister planet. In this video, we're going to explore the information that we have about this mysterious Earth-like planet. You will be shocked because this planet could be hiding aliens perhaps more advanced than we are. Almost 4,000 planets have been discovered to be revolving around stars similar to our Sun, and only about 50 of them are in the habitable zone of their star. In fact, the number of terrestrial planets in the observable universe has been calculated to be as many as 700 million trillion. But not all of them are believed to get the proper amount and kind of ultraviolet radiation to promote the emergence of life. There are a few characteristics of Earth that scientists believe to be very crucial, if not absolutely necessary, for the emergence and survival of life, such as water, oxygen, and of course, carbon. So, has there been any discovery of a habitable world besides Earth? And if so, could such a planet be accommodating alien life? The search for Earth 2.0, a planet that's comparable to our own, has been a long-standing fantasy of mankind. With this in mind, NASA launched the Kepler Space Telescope in 2009, with the goal of finding planets the size of Earth orbiting other stars. Kepler's original mission involved staring at more than 150,000 stars at once, while in search of minute brightness dips brought on by planets crossing the faces of these stars. With this, other, small, possibly habitable exoplanets have been found in the past, but they were in the orbits of red dwarf stars, which are much cooler and smaller than the Sun. And when all hope of finding a cousin to Earth seemed to be lost, Kepler 452b comes strolling by, or should we say orbiting by. This planet was reported by NASA to bear so much resemblance to Earth outside our solar system. The newfound world orbits a Sun-like star at around the same distance as Earth orbits the Sun, and is only slightly larger than our own planet. Kepler 452b is the only known planet in its solar system, and it's located 1,400 light-years away in the constellation Cygnus. According to researchers, this planet has a huge likelihood of being rocky, and it's roughly 60% wider than the Earth. The mass and density of this exoplanet has been a little tricky to determine, which would then reveal its composition. Nevertheless, it's believed that Kepler 452b has a dense atmosphere, a lot of water, and yes, active volcanoes with a surface gravity that's almost two times that of the Earth's. With the radius of the planet measured to be around 1.63 times that of the Earth, its mass would be almost five times that of the Earth if it were composed primarily of rocks. This would then make it a super-Earth, but if its makeup is similar to Neptune's, as scientists also think, with a small rocky core encircled by a thick mantle of ice and a gaseous envelope, then the planet's mass would be less. Kepler 452b takes around three weeks longer to complete one orbit of its star when compared to Earth's revolution around the Sun, bringing it to about 385 days. With this orbit, the planet is directly in the habitable zone. The habitable zone in space is used to describe the area surrounding a star where a planet could very much have liquid water on its surface. This places the newfound planet in a spectrum of most likely habitable worlds discovered so far, since water is regarded to be a vital factor for the evolution of life. Also, with an orbit distance of 97.2 million miles, equivalent to 156.5 million kilometers, about the same distance as the Earth to our Sun at 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers, Kepler 452b receives only 10% more solar radiation than Earth since the star is around 20% brighter than the Sun. The star Kepler 452b orbits, known as Kepler 452, shares the same G2 spectral class as the Sun. It's 1.5 billion years older than the Sun, bringing it to about 6 billion years old. 
This star has been observed to be at the stage of its life cycle when its radius and luminosity has started to increase. This then suggests that Kepler 452b may have already undergone, or will soon undergo, a runaway greenhouse effect, which would lead to all its surface water boiling up and evaporating. However, because Kepler 452b is 50% larger than Earth, and a mass about five times that of our planet, it would be possible for it to retain any oceans it may have for a longer time than Earth would if faced with a similar fate. This would stave off the runaway greenhouse effect for an additional 500 million years. As a result, Kepler 452b's increased carbonate silicate process, which would be caused by volcanic activity, would be cushioned, therefore extending its lifetime. This will also give any possible surface life another 500 to 900 million years to exist on the planet before Kepler 452b's orbit pushes out of the habitable zone. At this stage, you already know this planet has everything needed to support life. So, is this planet hiding alien life? This is where the Allen Telescope Array comes in. This is a group of 20-feet telescopes in the Cascade Mountains of California. It's currently being used by the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Institute, or SETI, to observe Kepler 452b. The Array has so far observed the exoplanet across more than 2 billion frequency bands without success in finding any unknown civilization. However, we should keep in mind that just because life flourished on Earth doesn't necessarily imply that it will do so on planets with similar environments, it just means that it's feasible. In a similar vein, the fact that life hasn't been discovered on worlds like Kepler 452b despite having so many similarities to Earth doesn't rule out the possibility of it. In fact, it's very likely that the most prevalent life forms in the galaxy are very distinct from terrestrial life forms, which could be more abundant on planets other than our own. Since there's no other way to know than to simply look, we must search for observable signals that would then lead us to reconsider whether there's truly life on this planet. According to researchers, there are three main methods to discover life in space, and Kepler 452b is no exception. The first would be to build big telescopes that can study the light reflecting off of the planet. The Hubble Space Telescope of NASA has already started to study the atmospheres of far-off planets, but neither Hubble nor its successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, will be able to carry out this kind of exploration because the host star, Kepler 452, is just too dim. Another option would be to look for signals that could indicate life or intelligence, which is what SETI is presently doing. The telescopes are still observing over 9 billion channels in search of signs of extraterrestrial intelligence. The SETI Institute, however, has an issue of having limited options for searching for life because this planet in question doesn't reside in our solar system. The life forms would, therefore, need to be advanced because the Allen Telescope Array can only detect radio wave activity. Kepler 452b is also too far away to observe whether it harbours bacteria or extremophiles, which are species that can survive in harsh environments. And aside from this drawback with Allen, there's still a little hiccup with these first two approaches. There's a possibility that researchers looking through a telescope won't be able to find the usual clues to extraterrestrial life. Look at it this way. Even Earth might not have revealed evidence of life for the majority of its history to a distant observer looking from behind a telescope. This is because Earth was alive with primarily microscopic life for 3 billion years, but oxygen and methane levels, other key indicators of life aside from water, would have been too low to be observed from a distance. Nevertheless, with time, the technology to go outside our galaxy and start exploring the billions of planets buried among the stars will probably be available to humans in the future. But for now, exoplanet research will continue from behind telescopes and satellites in order to better understand the evolution of our own solar system and the characteristics of the galaxy as a whole. Maybe one day the inhabitants of Kepler would reach out to us. We can only hope that they come in peace. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more updates on our discoveries, and of course, click the bell icon, and we'll see you in the next video.